Hi everybody, thanks for stumbling onto my video and deciding to take the time to listen to me rant and rave and run my mouth. And if you want, feel free and listen to my other 50 or so odd videos. I have action movie reviews and other rants of very interesting topics and subjects and blah 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 blah. For the most part, I want to start off and talk about Angel Season 6. You're probably wondering, what the hell are you talking about? Well, Season 6 never materialized. Joss Whedon, the creator of Angel, which is a spin-off of his other creation, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, who, well, he was screwed by the WB, which is the Screw Network, screwed him out of a sixth season. They wanted to change and appeal to the different demographic, also known as teenage girls, I guess, which, which why a show, a great series like Angel gets taken out the air, but Smallville still stays there, is beyond my comprehension. I'm not ripping on Smallville, not that much. I mean, last few seasons have been uh, bland. You know, they cooked it right, smells good, but they didn't add any salt. I'll put it to you like that. And as far as Angel goes, it deserved the last season to wrap up everything. But guess what? He was screwed. Just like he was screwed out of Serenity, out of Firefly. He had to go make it into a movie called Serenity. And Serenity was a good movie. It was a good science fiction film. Well, that's been sort of rectified now that Angel has been turned into a... Uh, season 6 has been made into a comic book series. Now, mind you, Joss Whedon is not writing the series. He only helped plot the series. It, right now it is being written written by Brian Lynch and it's being supervised by Joss Whedon. And then there's going to be specials and di different story arcs. And now it's going to pretty much in the comic book world like he's doing with Buffy season 8 since it's in the comic book he's able to expand and go to dimensions far beyond what he, what he could have possibly done on television. And that includes all kind of wacky special effects and flying and shit like that. Now the series is called After the Fall. Pretty much LA has been turned into a war zone. If you've seen the, pretty much the events of what happened in the last episode of the series, it pretty much picks up sometime right after that. Wolferman Hart wants to punish not only Angel, but the entire city of Los Angeles, so they sent the place straight to hell. Pretty much it's roaming with demons and vampires. And, warning, there's going to be spoilers here. Angel's trapped in the Wolferman Hart building. Wesley is down an incomporeable, incomporeal representative of Wolferman Hart since he's still under contract with them even after his death. Connor, Gwen, Connor, Gwen, and Nina run a sanctuary for uh, civilians who need to get rescued, in which Angel, you know, occasionally does from time to time. And Gunn has been turned into a vampire. And Gunn has a group of vampires, which he calls Team Gunn. And he takes humans, and he doesn't kill them. He turns them into the undead. And he va he swears his vengeance against Angel for turning him into a vamp, for letting him get turned into a vampire, and all this other shit. In the second issue, Angel travels to Santa Monica because he wants to protect Connor from a demon lord. Gwen says there's a new player in the game, blah, blah, blah. Angel heads to Beverly Hills, where Spike has become the lord of Beverly Hills. Now, apparently, you know, they're playing it that Angel now believes Spike has now fell back into the dark side. Pretty, but then, in the third issue, it, you know, Angel's are fighting Illyria, who's defending Spike. It turns out that Spike is actually playing this role in order to become a mole and get information and destroy the evil demon lords from the inside pretending to be one. Of course during of course Angel confronts several demon lords and and stuff like that and he challenges them to a battle. But on the last few pages he reveals that his wounds that he's been receiving in numerous fights are mortal wounds and he's not a vampire anymore, which is probably going to be a cause of concern since he has to fight demons hand to hand. Now at this point I'm not really sure what Angel is. It's pretty hard to say. Uh, apparently he still retains his strength and his agility that he that he has. It's a you know, he still has it but 
what he is exactly now that he's not a vampire anymore is left to speculation. It could be possible that uh, he's becoming one step closer to being a human. If anybody remembers the Shenzhou prophecy, he has to survive a couple of plagues in the apocalypse. And I guess this is the apocalypse. Or if you jump back to Buffy Season 8, there's this thing called Twilight coming up. That could be the upcoming apocalypse. And maybe this thing that's happening in L.A. is the plague. It, I'm not too sure. I don't know where they're going with this story, but for most of it, it's pretty good. From what I understand about the artwork, the artwork isn't really that impressive, from what I understand. And a lot of people have been ragging on the on the storyline. They're pissed off that Gunn has been turned into a vampire. They're pissed off that Wesley's still around, even though he died in the last episode. Now he's just a ghost. <clears throat> Me, you know, I, I expected shockers. As a matter of fact, I didn't expect Gunn to be alive at all. And since this is owned by a separate company, it's I don't know if it's likely that at at this point, at this time there'll be a, a crossover of any kind. But apparently it's gonna be coming somewhere down the line. I even doubt it even more since in the season five of Angel it's been confirmed that the Scoobies don't trust Angel anymore because he's he was working for Wolfram and Hart. So I pretty much doubt that they'll come to the rescue if he called them. And I can't wait to, I can't wait to what ha see what happens in the following story. The next issue comes out February 27th, which is 20 days from now, and I can't wait to find out what happens. And eventually, I'm gonna just wait and buy it in the one big paperback, um, as a you know, as a collection. I'll just wait for that and read it all at once. For most part, I'm just giving y'all pretty much a synopsis of what's going on in the new angel thing that's going down and that's about it see ya